So, uh, my last album, Storytellers Part 2, was done and dusted at the end of uh, 2018, and I was looking into what I was going to do next, and I had a few options open, um, and, and uh, a couple of them are really kind of quite big projects that I knew were going to take me uh, a very long time, and uh, were going to involve lots of difficult processes to get through. Um, but while I was doing that, I, I uh, 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 Rob actually suggested to me that I uh, try writing an acoustic album, and um, so this is what we did. And I um, wrote it over over the last year, and it all came together slowly, and it's turned into a, a really really personal album. It's uh, a lot deeper than I than I thought it would be. I thought, you know, write some songs for a piano and uh, we're going to get the string quartet in as well and, and do that. And I thought, oh, that'll, be, that'll be nice. That'll be uh, very sort of jolly and friendly, but it's sort of turned into more of a uh, a personal, deeper thing. And um, and uh, we've, we've come here to Fieldgate Studios to record it. And I've been listening back to what we've done so far and the, the strings have added their parts now. And uh, it's been... It's pretty, pretty, pretty deep, man, as they say. Uh, but in all seriousness, it's um, yeah, it's, it's kind of taken a different turning to sort of what I thought it would, and it's something really different, actually, for me as a as a composer, because now with this, you know, with this this whole prog business that I've got myself into, um, songwriting is, I think, is very important, but. There's always the aspect of the grandiose instrumentals and the, the massive soundscapes and the, the noodling and all that kind of thing that's kind of it's sort of expected of one and uh, and it certainly is a good way of helping you out when you can't think of anything else to say. Uh, Blackbird, um, uh, one might argue that uh, uh, at least one. At least one good song has been written about a blackbird already, but uh, I wanted to write my own song. And a, a very simple, uh, of coming home one morning from out after being out on a night out in our local village, a bit of a lock-up, and being out far too late at night, and walking home in a somewhat uh, uh, befuddled state. And it was about uh, about three three in the morning, I guess. And I just... I was on my own at this point, and I just heard this this blackbird singing, and it was just really one of those hard to, hard to explain why it had such an impact, really. But it just kind of struck me very much at the time, so I just wanted to write a song about that moment. And I've always, since I was a kid, you know, uh, if you listen to my uh, other albums, you'll always hear some sort of bird song on there somewhere. <laughs> it's always just been a, a thing I've really enjoyed listening to, and I used to used to know quite a bit more about it when I was younger, but the blackbird particularly has always appealed to me, the, the song of the blackbird, so I just wanted to uh, do my own little homage to that. But we, we've got some, we have got some proggy moments, certainly with tracks like Quiet Night and, um, well, the title track, The Whispering of the World, and, um, and even with A Town by the Sea, and it's been just amazing to hear the, the, the string players uh, adding their parts and just to hear it come together so yes yeah, something that started off perhaps as I thought it might be uh, sort of something quite jolly and interesting and, uh, and which of course it has been but I think it's grown into something more which is uh, I think uh, I'm very very proud of it and, uh, and uh, we hope people are going to like it I try to reason to shake it loose 